follow me as I walk you through my day and how I recover throughout a training day. We're in Savannah, Georgia. We got here last night. One of the first things I do when I unpack the RV is make sure that I've got the ice barrel ready to go. There, we got it right back there. Still using the penguin chiller to take it down to about 46 degrees. And this is part of my recovery process. I never do the ice barrel after training. We actually, we actually lose out on our gains if we do ice bath after training. Now it's fine in competition because it helps ensure that we don't have muscle soreness the next day. We're ready to, to compete the next day. But when we're training, we don't want to do the ice barrel post-workout. I actually want to do it first thing in the morning. It's part of my recovery process is waking up, getting sun in my eyes, and getting a nice cold shock to my system and all of the hormonal benefits that come with that. Okay, that's it. Easy enough. Three minutes is all I'm looking for. And it feels good. Man, it was a little slow to get in today because it's not super warm out. So we're kind of heading into a different season. It's the fall, it's about 66 degrees out. And it's really nice when you get warm before you jump in the water. But honestly, you should just get up, get in it, and stop dilly-dallying, just get the job done. Got my coffee, and this is just a standard bulletproof coffee. Uh, let's see, it's got MCG oil powder, it's got butter, grass-fed butter, it's got a dash of cinnamon, and I actually put my creatine in there. I could put my creatine in my water first thing in the morning, but I always forget, so it just goes in there. Now I'm gonna have some fuel. So killing all the birds with one stone here. Sun in my eyes, I wanna do this about 10 minutes if it's sunny out, 20 minutes if it's cloudy out. And so I'm definitely trying to chase the sun and make sure I'm in sunny places. Uh, this morning for breakfast, I don't have anything fancy. Uh, I'm actually gonna be quickly heading to the gym here in Savannah. Uh, the Victory Grips Gym. So that's kind of fun. Uh, I've got yogurt, Faye yogurt right here. And I have, honestly, a powder of Skittles. This is a little bit of a flavoring uh, to add to that to make that Faye yogurt yummier. A little bit of water to make it a little bit creamier. And some white rice. Really simple for breakfast. So I'm just going to hang out here, get some breakfast in, and uh, do some triage on my inbox on my phone because there is work to do as well. Getting sun in my eyes first thing in the morning is another one of those ways to signal to my body that it's time to wake up, it's time to get going. Uh, it, it helps to inform the circadian rhythm as to what we're doing today. We get up when it's sunny, we go to bed at an appropriate time so that I can maximize my recovery while I sleep. And this is part of that recovery. So it also feels good. It's warm. I'm warming up from the ice barrel and this is probably one of my favorite parts of the day right here. I'm here at Victory Gym in Savannah, Georgia. I'm a week out from a competition, so still pushing pretty hard. I'm gonna give uh, a solid session this morning and then a second session this afternoon as well. And I have some recovery built into all of that. But, but yeah, this gym is pretty sweet. It's got a DIY entrance. I used to come in in the middle of the day and have this huge space. This is a CrossFit space over here. And on the other side is a bit of a, of a bodybuilding space, which I also think is really cool. Uh, yeah to get some work done here. Oh man, that was tough. I am not done with the session, but I'm gonna allow myself to cool down on the bike here. Ooh, get some blood flow, just moving through, clear out. I don't know, I don't know if this actually does anything, but it feels good. Kind of resets my head without just sitting on the ground or laying on the ground. I've got some movement going, check social media, see what's going on, and then move on to the next thing. Session one 
Uh, Boulder athletes, you'll see that I deviated a little bit from the program today as I'm testing out workouts for the Masters Fitness Championship next weekend. So that's what those ring muscle up walking lunges were all about. I've got to head to the store right now post-workout. What I'd really like right now is either a big, big like bowl of fruit, a couple of bananas, something like that. Let the healing begin. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this sort of half strength Gatorade. It was one half scoop with this entire shaker bottle. So it's just got a little bit of sugar in it and that's cool. I want that. And I also want to stay rehydrated. So I like that there's some salt in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and drink my protein shake as well. Not necessarily because this is the time for a protein shake. I, I need the calories. I need the protein throughout the day. And I might as well drink the protein shake while I'm thirsty. So that's generally why I drink protein after working out. Not necessarily that there's a perfect window of opportunity. I'm just looking for 200 grams of protein a day. And this is about 40 grams right here in this shake. It's a double scoop. Okay, now I've got a quick trip to Walmart and then I'm gonna head home, eat some lunch, get some work done. Mini session two later this afternoon at the RV. It'll be good. Be doing a little more practice for the Masters Fitness Championship and that's about it. Finally home and time to get some food in. I've got rice and eggs and a little bit of cheese on there to make it good. So what I wanna do between sessions is, you know, I got a little bit of carbohydrates in me earlier. Now I'm looking to get more carbs in the form of this rice. Add protein to the system. Again, this is about eight egg whites with two egg yolks in there mixed in. Uh, help me get some protein into my life. And really, I want just carbs. I would love to just eat rice right now or just eat fruit, but uh, I need the protein too. So I'm gonna sit down and, and get this in. And that's gonna power my second session this afternoon and just power my life. I mean, that's really what it is. But when it comes to recovery, it is a combination of sleep. It's a combination of eating the right food uh, throughout the day. It's, you know, the ice barrel in the morning, it's compression at night, even a massage gun. And uh, yeah, it all, all mixes together. It's all part of the process and it's something that I do every day. Another element of my recovery that I've actually just recently added is adding smart supplements by blokes. The way this process has worked is about a month and a half ago, I did uh, blood testing. Went to a CVS, had a ton of blood drawn, and then that goes out, gets tested, and all that data is sent to Blokes. And Blokes gives me this report that is just, it's like 55 pages long, and tells me all about my hormone health, different strengths, deficiencies, uh, according to what my blood is saying. And then what they do is that they create customized daily supplements in the form of vitamins, and they have lots of other services that they can work with. But for me, as a competitor in a drug free sport it's just vitamins and minerals for me so so they gave me personalized supplements to take every day this is a 30-day pack which is pretty awesome uh, as this starts to get down they'll send me another 30-day pack and then what we'll do in a few months is we'll retest my blood and see how those markers have changed over time so i'm really excited to see how this works but this is definitely something that i've added to my routine i highly recommend it just based on the process so far but i really can't wait to see how the results come in in a couple of months. If you'd like to save 20% on your lab work with blokes, go to blokes.co forward slash Jason Grubb. That's B-L-O-K-E-S dot C-O forward slash Jason Grubb. All right, kids are in bed. Uh, my wife actually decided to go to sleep, so I'm gonna do some recovery. I do this every night. About an hour of Norma Tech boots on my legs, and I'm actually gonna have a little bit of dessert. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, I often have dessert. I save a couple of calories for a little bit at night. and eating throughout the day to make sure that I get enough calories throughout the entire day is super important. And with that, I even reserve just a little bit for a little snack tonight. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's time for bed. The last thing I'm gonna do in a water bottle, I'm gonna add just a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. This is a half a teaspoon. I'm doing about half of that. So it's about a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. So that's gonna help it, me not pee overnight. And uh, salt is great for hydration, so I wanna be hydrated and retain that water overnight. Use thirdsy nighttime recovery for a great night's sleep. Just like that. Let's fill up the water. Filtered water. Always. All right, let's do this. So Thirdsy has a little bit of L-tryptophan, some collagen protein. It's got a bunch of other stuff in it. L-tryptophan, GABA, which is great for sleep, uh, collagen peptides, L-theanine, and a bunch of amino acids. Uh, again, 
going to go for a great night's sleep tonight. Going to get about eight hours of sleep. It's the best thing I can do for recovery to get me ready for tomorrow. So that's a day of recovery right there. I'm always focused on recovery in addition to the things I'm doing to train throughout the day, every day. On like a Thursday or a Sunday, I'm really focused on recovery because that's just all I'm doing on those days for the most part. But on training days, I'm also focused on recovery because the best way that I can maximize my training is by maximizing my recovery every single day. Good night, guys. Your best days are ahead of you. Get bolder, not older. See ya.